What's up Tigers and welcome to this episode of Mindset Masterclass where you're going to learn how to fight your way to the top with advice from UFC superstar Kobe Chaos Covington. Let's do it. My name is James and welcome to Thought Tigers. We are here to let your mind roar and show you that you can change your life by changing your thoughts. So how did Colby Covington, one of the most talked about and controversial stars in the UFC, change his life by changing his thoughts? Let's find out. So who is Colby Covington? Colby Covington hails from California in the US, one of the most talked about stars in the UFC. He also has one of the best records in the UFC with 12 wins and one losses. He's been the previous interim welterweight champion and he's currently waiting a title shot in the UFC. He's even been invited to the White House by none other by President Donald Trump who's a big fan of his and Covington is also a huge Trump fan which definitely plays into the stardom. So Kobe ever since he was five years old he dreamed of being a world wrestling champion. He went on to accomplish this somewhat be by becoming a wrestling champion in college and then after this he got signed by the UFC. Kobe then went on and had a seven winning streak in the UFC until he was unceremoniously dumped by the UFC, basically because his grappling style was too boring. So he had his dreams shattered where he made it to the top to the UFC only to have it stripped away from him. So how did he pick himself up from rock bottom to get to where he is now, one of the most talked about and celebrated stars in the UFC? So luckily at Kobe's recent UFC event in New New York, New York, I always struggle pronouncing that, where he defeated Robbie Lawler, one fan asked him on did Kobe have any advice on how to get to the top. So let's find out what that advice was. Kobe, can I ask you uh, any any advice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just uh, you gotta commit your whole life to it, you know. And yeah. you gotta make the sacrifices daily, you know. Yeah. Oh, right. Don't just be a fighter, you know. You, uh, for a couple months at a time, be a fighter year round. You know? Yeah. I gave my whole life to it. I made a lot of sacrifices. Yeah. Get there, train twice a day. You know, I know I had to, I had to level up and I had to get ahead of the curve, and there was mm -hmm. only one way I was gonna do it. I mean, I had to put in more work, you know. Yeah. These guys are out partying on the weekends. I was in the gym. I was yeah. waking up early. I was eating good food. You know, I wasn't drinking alcohol. I was staying dedicated. Oh. In this section, Colby talks about sacrifice. Now, sacrifice is a bit of a dirty word, as we always think of success, but we forget that there's a price to success and there is sacrifice, and that price is sacrifice. So if you want to get to the top, you need to be willing to sacrifice something, or a lot, in a lot of cases. So for Colby, that was when his friends were out drinking, he was in the gym. When his friends were partying, he was in the gym. When his friends were sleeping in, he was in the gym. He also mentions you have to dedicate your life to something. If you really wanted to get to the top of your field, you need to be willing to dedicate your life to it. So in this way, you have to be really honest with yourself and say, what am I willing to sacrifice to get my goal? And in this next section, Colby talks about mindset. I'd say the biggest thing is in, is in the mind mentally and just staying focused. More than the, more in the mind than, yeah, than the, more the, the mind. Body. Yeah. You convince your mind that your body can do something, your body's going to do it. If you, if you got negative thoughts in, in your mind, yeah. then you're going to do it. The mind is everything, as Colby says, basically that if you can see it in your mind, your body will do it. And this is hearkening back to the law of attraction, which basically says if you can visualize something in your mind, you will attract it to you. Conor McGregor is also a huge fan of this. This is a very powerful skill, but not an easy one to maneuver and to manipulate in your life. This because, say, Colby Covington, when he got dropped and kicked to the curb by the UFC, how easy was it to visualize that he's still gonna be champion? Similarly with Conor McGregor when he was living on the dole, basically benefits in Dublin and he was unemployed, how could he visualize then that he would one day be the UFC star that he is? It's not easy and that's why these guys are champions because even when things are at their bleakest, they still visualize that they are gonna to get to the top of that mountain and visualize that they will be champions. Covington next talks about focus, focus, where focus is super important for you to stay on course towards your goals. Another hugely, hugely successful person in this field, Warren Buffett, who has a net worth of nearly 80 billion, isn't that crazy? 
and Warren Buffett is an investment banker and he describes focus as the most important ingredient to be successful in life or whatever your field is. So if Warren Buffett, who might know a bit of what he's talking about financially and Colby Covington, it's this UFC superstar, say focus is important, you got to focus. And this is harder in life now where we have so many distractions left, right and center that focusing on your one passion and narrowing that focus is hugely important to get forward in life. Negative thoughts are tough obstacles to overcome, basically because society runs on negative thoughts. We're conditioned to think negatively. Think about this like you're all the things we see online and just in our lives in general that we're too fat, you're not wealthy enough, you're not strong enough, yada yada yada, the list goes on. And this is because companies make money off your ego not being fulfilled by thinking that you need to have this, you need to have this, you need to have that car, you need to have that new fancy washing machine, you need to have half the Amazon in your house. And this makes it hard to think positively in your mind. So you really have to work hard at it like Colby and Connor do. Basically, you should think of it as having two wolves in your mind, negative wolf, positive wolf. Now already this negative wolf is a big, strong bastard because that's what society feeds it. So you have to work your ass off to feed this positive wolf. And you need to do that if you want to stay positive and get ahead in your field and keep visualizing those positive thoughts like Connor and Colby do. So next in the video, Colby talks about his bucket attitude and how to find a way to get where you want to go. You know, love is your passion, bro. It is, man. You it find is. a way. It is. You find a way. You put in the extra workouts. You'll do whatever it takes. You work on the box. You work on the wrestling. You work on the jiu-jitsu, and you find a way. That's, that's what my coaches that I always always tell me in wrestling. Find a way. Even even if you know maybe it's not the conventional way. Find a way around. Find find a shortcut. Find find a way to get it done. Find a way. When you're working towards your dream or whatever your goal is, you're gonna have obstacles, you're gonna fall down, you're gonna get kicked in the nuts, you're gonna to want to knock it up, but you have to work, you have to do whatever you can to find a way to do what it is you wanna do, like Kobe says. So how did Covington find a way after the UFC dropped him after his seven fight winning streak? By saying, fuck it. Yes, he said, fuck it, and decided that he didn't give a crap what anybody thought of him anymore, he was just gonna speak his truth, be the person who he is, a fighter, and he didn't give a fuck what anyone says, and this is where his journey really began. He still continued to win in the ring, but then with this new controversial style outside the ring, literally just speaking his mind, the UFC was drawn back to him, but he was not without his mishaps with the likes of a fight in Brazil, after which he called Brazil a dump, and all the people there filthy animals, which he received death threats for, but on the flip side in the UFC, they just saw dollar signs with controversy, driving ticket sales, driving fandom about the sport. So Covington quickly rose up to prominence once again. Find a way is basically an illustration of just how important grit is if you wanna to get to the top. So grit is essentially this ability to grit your teeth and fight through whatever obstacles life throws at you between you and your end goal. Bessie Coleman is a great example of this, who Bessie at the end of the 1800s, she always dreamt of being a pilot. But this time she was a black African-American woman, so she couldn't get her license in America. So she, like Covington, said, fuck it, went to France and figured it out. And in 1922, she became the first African-American woman to get a pilot license. So this just highlights it from Bessie and from Colby that life is going to throw obstacles in the way of your goal. And you have to say, fuck it and find a way and use your grit to get through it. Now there's just one final little snippet of advice from Kobe to never stop believing in yourself. Yeah, just believe in yourself. Never stop believing, my brother. Thanks, man. Kobe's final piece of advice to never stop believing in yourself. And this is so important because it would have been so easy for Kobe when the UFC didn't re-sign him to not give up, but he didn't stop believing in himself. Similarly for Connor when he was on the dole in Dublin with no prospects, it would have been so easy to give up, but he never stopped believing in himself. Similarly with Bessie, when she was told she wasn't allowed to be a pilot because she was an African American, she never stopped believing in herself. And this is so important because if you don't believe in yourself, why should anybody else? So if you have any goals or dreams you want to accomplish, go out there, make those sacrifices, work on your mindset, find a way and believe in yourself. Now please go show some belief in my goofy self, jab that like button and right hook that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.